Amy channel and today we continue to study the topic we studied in the previous video Content analysis is the first step in rate recovery From our previous video we have already known that there are three tools in Reclaiming Pro Content Analysis The ratio of zeros Mirror analysis and parity analysis. Zero and mirror analysis help you to detect Zbot rate zero, rate one, and rate ten rates. With this analysis, you can also catch a hot spare disk. In the previous video, we uh, have discussed in detail how to apply these techniques. In this video, I will focus on the parity analysis. To start with, let's consider how the parity function is calculated. The word parity came from the fact that the sum of bits in each row in a rate 5 is always even. If you have two data bits, say A and B, the parity bit is determined by the sum of these bits. Parity bit equals zero if the sum of bits is even. And parity bit equals one if the sum of bits is odd. To calculate parity bit, it is convenient to use the XO function rather than uh, just summing the uh, data bits. Therefore, uh, P equals A XOB. If you have two data blocks and uh, A and B and you calculate P as A XOB, then A XOB, XOP equals zero. In this case, they say that the row consisting of A, B, and P blocks is even. For XO function, the following statements are true. The result uh, does not depend on the calculation order. That is A X O B equals B X O A. That is why to reconstruct a missing disk you do not need to know where the parity is. The second statement is uh, any value XO itself is zero. A X O A equals zero. That is why mirrors are always even. And the third statement is uh, any value so zero is uh, that same value. A X O zero equals A. As I said in the previous video, the basic techniques to deal with parity include the following stages. First, you need to remove mirrors from the disk set. Since mirrors are always even, they just spoil the result. Then you need to exclude the blank disk from the disk set. Because adding or removing any number of zeros does not affect the parity calculation. And then, once uh, mirrors and blank disks uh, have been excluded from the disk set, you need to calculate the parity. First 
of the full disk set. And then exclude one of the remember disks in each combination. Once the parity is calculated in every combination, the results may be classified into two groups. Typical results, which were discussed in the previous video in detail, they include a RAID 5 with the full disk set, with one disk missing and with the hot spare disk. This you encounter most often. Also, there are strange complex cases, which we are discussing here. Let's see what strange cases you can get with the parity analysis. If you see 100% parity for the full disk set and 100% parity if you exclude one of the member disks, this means that you haven't excluded some blank disk. percent parity for the full disk set and zero parity in all exclusion combinations can mean not only a full rate 5 but also a full rate 6 in a certain variation as used in promise rate controllers. One end parity for the full disk set and zero parity in all exclusion combinations points to a certain rate 6 with one disk missing. Zero parity for the full disk set and one end parity in all exclusion combinations means a full rate 6 in a certain variation. If you like our data recovery videos, subscribe to the Reclaimy channel. Reclaimy team was with you. See you soon!